I'm Andrew Willier. Um, I'm a broker at Port Solent Marina uh, for Clipper Marine. Um, and yeah, here to talk to you about buying a boat. It sounds a silly place to sell, but you've, you've got to understand it's an expensive hobby. So buying the boat is the easy part. Once you've bought it, um, it's not a car. You have to pay to park it somewhere. Um, marina fees, we all know, are, are expensive. So, you know, even if you're not using the boat, you're racking up costs just by having it sat there. Sailing boats, you know, everyone assumes that it, it's free. Well, it's not. You still have rigging to be mindful of the state of the sails. Um, they still have engines. You still have to accept that there will be a, an element of fuel in there. Um, if you buy a motorboat, you know, they're big lorry engines. They're not frugal by any stretch of the imagination. So you need to be mindful that it is not a case of, oh, I've spent £20,000 on a boat, that's great. There's lift out costs. You know, every time, you, almost every time you take this boat out, it will cost you money. Um, you need to be mindful of it. Um, and don't, st if your budget's £50,000, including running costs, perhaps you need to be looking at a boat for perhaps 30,000, giving you a little bit in the bank for repairs, maintenance, haul out costs, insurance. Um, if you've got finance, can you afford the repayments? Is your job likely to change? Whilst it's not our responsibility to check those questions, it's a sensible conversation to have that, you know, they might be rolling in it in, in the year they take the finance out. It might be a case of they're in a market that's about to change or what have you, especially in the current situation. We all know the, the marine market's quite buoyant. So, um, yeah, we, it is always how much money have you got? How much money can you afford? And what do you want from the boat? If you only want it for weekends, do you really need to go out and buy a 40 foot power boat for half a million when you could perhaps spend a hundred thousand or four hundred thousand pound in your account and you know enjoy you know have the the nicest hundred thousand pound 20 year old motorboat on the river because it's, it's well maintained and you've got plenty of money in the bank we'll google it and you've you know you found the boat you wanted and it's a, a bavaria s36 and it's at clipper marine so you call us up you need to ask the right questions so um, everyone asks running costs, it's a hard question to answer, but we can give you rough mooring costs, we can give you um, rough um, lift out costs, rough engine service prices, everything's different, um, it depends where you go. Um, once you've decided that's the boat for you, we'll also normally say, well, have you considered this option, have you considered that option, you know, what do you want to use the boat for? Um, if it's still the right boat once we've had a conversation um, and we've got one available, obviously you've seen it, whether it's brokerage or new, we'll get you down to come and have a look at it. Um, and it's, yeah, we'll show you over the boat, we'll explain how it handles, we'll explain the pros and cons, and the, the, it will always be a compromise. You have to accept the fact that no boat will ever be perfect unless you have it handmade and none of us own that sort of money. Um, and once you've got to that point and you're happy with it, we can then explain the sales process and how it works and how it moves forward. If it's not for you um, and it's not always right, then we can say, well, you know, have you considered this? Have you considered that? Um, and it might be a case of, you know, unfortunately sending you somewhere else where you get a boat that suits you better than perhaps the one that we've got. Make a list. Um, you won't forget it then. So. Um, the hatches, you know, is there any obvious signs of water ingress? Um, just a general look at the outside, is it well presented? You know, someone that can't be bothered to wash a boat, there's a good chance they haven't bothered to service it or maintain it in the way they should do anyway. Start from the outside and work your way in. Um, make sure that it's got the spec you want. Um, you know, on first glance, an older chart bottom might not seem quite such a bad thing, but when you have to fork out a thousand pound for a new Rain Marine setup all of a sudden, you know, that's potentially a tank of fuel that stops you using the boat. And yeah, just go through it with a fine tooth comb. Um, most brokers, you know, whilst we always sit there and say we're busy, you know, it's literally their job to, to sit there and show you through the boat. Um, ask questions, um, ask to see the paper. You can't take photocopies or anything like that, but you can still sit down and read it. There's no issues with you sitting down and going through the service history of the boat. Open up the engine hatches, go through the drawers, just go through the entire boat. Um, but yeah, key is make a list, that way you, you make sure you don't miss anything and make sure you, you ask questions, don't be afraid to, to it, no matter how silly they might sound, um, we all started somewhere so we all had to learn somehow um, and yeah, just ask questions. It covers everybody, so it covers the broker, um, the seller and the purchaser. Um, it, it, it helps to, to make sure everybody gets, everything's fair. Um, it's no surprise that the, the sellers charge or get charged a fee for, for the brokers selling their boats. Um, it, it's not a surprise and it ensures that the broker doesn't lose out um, having the seller pull out. It ensures that the seller agrees to sell the boat. Um, you know, it, it, it makes sure that once those funds have been transferred that the boat is handed over to the purchaser. 
um, and it ensures the purchaser buys the boat, um, subject to obviously terms and conditions, um, but it, it allows them to take the boat for a survey or a sea trial, um, it allows them to use whichever surveyor they like, it allows them to use whichever engineer they like, and there's no bias, there's no favouritism, it is the end result is you've got a boat that you're happy with, a boat that is safe, a boat that is reliable as it can be. Um, and, and yeah, they've got everything that they want, so it, it protects everybody. Um, it's seven pages and it's, it's bedtime reading, but yeah, it, it protects everybody, so, so read it and make sure you're happy with it.